Judge Heath has completed his placings in the Melking Shorthorn Aged Cow class. Would our junior exhibitor please take a step forward? She is entry 1597, Halpins IH, shown by Samantha Ropp of Halpin Farms, Cullum, Illinois. In third place is entry 1605, Innisfail Joe Emily, 7042 EXP, shown by Jeff and Kathy Byers family of Milo, Iowa. In second place, Best Bread and Owned and the Production Award winner, she is entry 1606, Blue Spruce HTA Melody Maya, shown by Blue Spruce Farm, Jason Robinson of New Holland, Ohio. At six years of age, she produced at 305 days 25,160 pounds of milk with 3.9% fat, 979 pounds of fat, 2.8% protein, and 717 pounds of protein. Maya is also being named the International Milking Shorthorn NASCO International Type and Production Award winner. Congratulations. And winning the class is entry 1600. Hardcore Rebel Rocket, shown by the Core Blue Syndicate of Corey, Indiana. Congratulations, Judge Heath, your reasons. Cal's win the class. She just uh, has that tremendous style and eye appeal, and Cal just jumped out and grabbed you when she come in the ring with that silkiness and dairiness. Uh, today I'm making her the best udder. I feel she has more quality to that rear udder, definition of crease, and just like the shape to the udder, a little nicer than the cow in second. She just has that overall style and balance. Uh, I prefer the tidiness in her hock, the cleanliness of her bone in her hind legs today than the cow in second. Second cow you really admire for a big square cut to her frame. She's wide rump, big hip. Got that big sweep to her rib on her dairy qualities and that sweep to her rib. Her cleanliness all the way through. She places over the cow coming in third. I also prefer the way she's a little stronger in that uh, pasture and deeper in that heel. Cow in the third. Beautiful, beautiful udder. Not a great big cow, but a really correct, well-balanced cow with a crank and crank and udder. She places over the cow coming next in that mammary system, that lift to the front end, the balance all the way through. The cow coming out in fourth or the cow in fifth just has more bloom to that rear udder, height and width, definition of crease, just smoother and blending in that fore udder, and just a little more quality in that bone structure today. The cow coming out fifth, just a big old square hammer of a cow, but she just lacks that mammary system to place any higher.